So you're tired of Cortana. Want a kicker to the curb? In Windows 10, the 2004 update, you can. Hi, I'm Wes Bryan. Let's show you how it's done. Now, in order to remove Katana, all you have to do is run a simple commandlet from an administrative level PowerShell prompt. Let me go ahead and show you real quick. If we click on the Talk to Cortana icon, you will notice that she's there. She's ready for you to sign in and start annoying you. Uh, you can also right click on this uh, or click your start button and you can see that in the C's here alphabetically, yep, she's right there as well. Let's go ahead and show you that again in the Windows 10 2004 version, you can actually remove her. Let me show you a quick tip on how you can tell what is the current version of Windows 10 you're running. Down here in our instant search field, I'm gonna type W-I-N-V-E-R or Winver. And when we run that, you'll see that it tells you what is the current version of Windows that you're running. And to do this, you need the 2004 build 1904 or 1940, 19,041, we'll get that right eventually, or greater. Once you've confirmed that you do have that, all you have to do is launch up an administrative uh, PowerShell. You can right click and you can choose Windows PowerShell Admin. I've gone ahead and already run it. Be sure to say yes to the user account control. And then it's just as a matter of copying or typing this commandlet, which we will put in the description below and entering it into PowerShell and hitting enter. And you're going to see that it's going to take a little bit. This was actually pretty quick. Sometimes it might take a little bit longer. And now notice that when we click on the talk to Cortana, in fact, there's nothing there. And if we look at our start menu and we look under the letter C, Cortana's gone. Very easy way that if you're tired of Cortana, you can kick her to the curb. And check out the Windows 10 how-to playlist for more videos like this. And be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel.